So in this video, we're going to talk about a few things that helps you better to do well in your part one of the pharmacy oral exam. So you may be aware that in part one, you are given five drugs and you have to talk to them about in 10 minutes. There is a misconception that you've got to spend two minutes on each drug, but not necessarily. You can utilize your 10 minutes of time to give enough information about these five different drugs. And it's quite obvious that most of the interns spend a massive amount of time in preparing for this part. And when attempting the exam, this section makes you feel a bit nervous or anxious. Uh, sometimes you run out of things to say or you simply jumble around. So to prevent this happen and to place yourself in a nice flow during the examination, here's a formula structure for you. Just be aware that the examiner is looking at some specific information on each drug. Even if you tell them who invented that particular medication or who funded that project or what's the chemical structure of that medication uh, or even if you tell a great joke about the drug, they may laugh but that doesn't come into your assessment. So having a structure, it really helps your life and your examiner's life easy. So here's the structure formula and we call it triple five. So in this formula, the first five stands to remember that you're gonna talk about five different drugs in this, in this part of the exam, right? That's a simple and clear. And the second five helps you to remember that you're gonna say at least five specific points on each of these drugs. And the third five in the formula stands for you to remember that you are going to say at least five counseling points for each of these drugs. So now I'm going to explain to you so what are those five specific points and the five counseling points you can mention in the exam. So the first specific point you can mention is drug class. So they said which class the drug belongs to. So that's your first specific point. And the second specific point you can mention is the indication. So you need to tell them so what's this drug is used for. The third specific point you can mention is dosage and frequency. So what's the usual dose range for this medication? What's the minimum or the maximum dose range of this medication? Or how often this medication needs to be taken? It's like a once in a day or twice in a day or once in a week. So make sure you mention the frequency, how often this medication needs to be taken. The fourth specific point is counseling. So when you come to this stage, remember you have five counseling points to mention. And I'm gonna explain to you in a second, what are those five counseling points you can talk about on each drug. The fifth specific point is monitoring. So mention what are those things that they need an attention when they're using this particular medication. You know, it could be in a creatinine kinase levels, or blood glucose levels, or lipid profile, uh, renal function, renal function, you know, uh, symptomatic improvement, uh, adherence to the medication. So you can mention these monitoring points that's specific to that particular medication. Now, let's have a look what are those five counseling points you can mention in the exam. Well, in my opinion, counseling is a key thing. It helps you to connect with your patient. What you say and how you say it matters a lot first point you can say is to introduce the medication so tell them what this medication is and what it does to their body that's going to be your first point second point in the counseling is explain them what happens once they took that medication in what they are what they can expect out of this medication how long it will take to work so you cover this information as your second point of counseling so in the third point of your counseling, you can mention all the ancillary labels that goes with the medication. Here you can mention how to take that medication or what's the storage conditions in relation to that medication. You can add this information in your third point of counseling. So the fourth point of your counseling, you can mention the common side effects of this medication or how long the side effects will last. 
or caution them what are the specific adverse effects they need to look after before they contacting the doctor or before they seeking any immediate medical attention. The fifth point of your counseling is lifestyle advice. Because I can't stress you enough, lifestyle advice is a key. Even though you don't know any of the above information, just doing in a proper lifestyle counseling, it helps you to put the ball out of the boundary. So make sure you practice the right lifestyle advices for the given particular for any given particular medical condition. In my personal opinion is it's good to prepare your AMS through class wise then try to differentiate the each individual drug in the particular class and that helps you a lot for your preparation. So here are some of the good resources that you could use for your preparation during the exam. So these are the two links that you can explore further for a great resource of material. I'm also going to give you my personal list of nearly 300 drugs so try to practice five specific points and five counseling points on each of these drugs practice with your friends or with your colleague or with your family member you should be fine in the exam all the best guys